Hi everyone, welcome to day 38 of my 100 challenge. We will be solving one of the SQL questions asked in Google Data Analyst interview. So let's see the question. So the question says you have a table called employees with the following columns ID, name and manager ID. Write a SQL query to show each employee's name along with their label in the company hierarchy. The label should start at 1 for the employee who don't have a manager. They are the top of the hierarchy of the company. So if you see the data set, we have the IDs here of these employees. So here are the employees and name and here are the employees manager ID. Now for this employee which is Alice, so Alice doesn't have a manager ID. So that means Alice itself is a manager and the label for Alice is going to be 1. Then we have Bob. So Bob has a manager ID which is 1. So that is Alice. So Bob's label is going to be Alice label plus 1. That's going to be label 2. So this is the expected output. You can see it here. We need each ID of the employees, their name and their label. Now if you can see this label that is being created so label is going to be their manager label plus one that is going to be the label right now if you want to check for this employee which is called grace the employee id is seven and the employee name is grace and the label is showing as four let's verify it so if we see this employee id is seven grace and the manager id is four so that is going to be debit and the debit manager is a two right so the debit label is going to be two plus one that's going to be three so that means grace level is going to be four because grace manager level is three so grace level is going to be four which you can see it here so this is the expected output from this question so let's see how we should solve this question now i have already created the table and inserted this on data which you can find it from the video descriptions so let's see the table so i have the same table you can see i can just run this query and we will have the same table so you can see we have the same table which has the employee IDs, their name and their manager ID. Now we just need to find out their label in the company hierarchy. So again, this is you see Alice. So that's the level is going to be one. Then we have Bob. So Bob manager ID is one. So Bob level is going to be one plus one. That's going to be Alice level plus one. That is going to be Bob level. So this is how we need to find the result. So let's start writing our query to solve this question. Now I'm going to use a recursive CT to solve this problem today. So let's start with this. So let's say I will select few of the columns that I need. So I'm going to select first of all the ID and then I'm going to select the name and uh, then I'm going to select something called one and I'm going to name it called label. Okay. So and I will be using from all of this that I'm getting from this employees table. Okay. If I just run this query, it's going to create a new column and it is going to insert one for all the records. You can see ID name one. So because I have not defined anything else, so I'm saying select me ID name and I'm just creating a new column. The column name I'm giving is label and I'm just inserting one. So for each employees, it's just putting label one, right? So this is what it is doing. Okay, now I can use a simple where condition here. I can say where manager ID, manager ID, where I would say manager ID is null. So let's see. Now I can see we only have one employee who has label one because this employee has no manager that means this mean this employee has no manager id that's the reason this employee label is one okay so this result i want to save in a cte so that's i'm going to save it in a recursive cte so the syntax is very simple you just need to say with recursive and uh, then you can just give your city name then from here it's going to be same as like basic cte so i'm going to save it as employee hierarchy so it's going to be employee h i e r a r c h y employee hierarchy and I'm just going to use S. Okay, So whatever I'm getting from this which is this only one record that is I'm saving with this recursive CTE and I'm just giving it name called employee hierarchy. Okay, Now I just need to put everything in this parenthesis. Okay, So this is my the base member which is going to be my main member. So I'm going to say base member member. Now these are just comments for you to understand. Okay, Now I will have one recursive member so here what i will do i will simply go ahead and say select and i'm going to select the id from my main table okay and i'm going to select a name and let me just hide it and uh, i'm just going to say id and name and uh, i'm going to select from this main table which is called employees okay and i'm just going to name it called e1 okay so i would say e1 e1 of id e1 of name okay so this is just a simple one thing i'm just selecting here okay now i will do a join with this table with this recursive ct that i'm getting which is this table now the benefit of recursive ct that you can join with this ct itself inside it so here i can reference 
from this city E. Okay, so I would say E1 of ID, E1 of name, and I'm saying employee. And how I'm doing the join? So I'm just doing the join on simple inner join. I can do inner join and uh, inner join with what? Inner join with this employee hierarchy table. So I will just name it called EH. Okay, now what is the conditions? Now the condition is going to be from my main table which is the employees table that table has a column called manager id based on the manager id i am trying to find out the label okay so that is my objective right so based on the manager id i am trying to find that manager label and i'm going to add one with that manager label that is how i'm going to find this employees label okay for each employees label so the condition is going to be that's going to be e1 of manager id e1 of manager id okay and that's going to be e h employee hierarchy so which is this one eh and eh dot and that's going to be employee id that's going to be id only okay so this is what i am doing now i will just need to do a union here okay union all now i just need to do a union all because i will do a union with this query and this query okay because here i'm referring this one of the column that i will need and that's going to be eh dot label plus one okay and i'm just going to save it call label i will explain what is happening here okay so let's go ahead and force complete it and uh, let's go ahead and kind of select whatever i need okay so i would say select now from the above city what i need is the id i need the name i need the label from where I'm getting all of this so I'm getting all of this from this employee hierarchy table so and let's just run this query so that I can explain okay now we can see for each employee ID I'm getting their name and I'm based on this manager ID I'm trying to find their label their manager label actually and I'm just adding it one with their manager label so here uh, you can see it here here if you see I am selecting the employee ID from this employees table and I am selecting the name from this employee table but this label right if you remember this label that we only had one label here right so here we only had one label for the employee who doesn't have a manager ID so if you just run this query you will see that we were getting only one label right so that is for the employee who doesn't have a manager ID so we got the employee who doesn't have a manager ID because the rest all the employee has the manager ID right so the label was one now I am doing a union with this query and with this query right so if I do a union in this query I have ID I have name I have label right so here I have ID I have name I have label so in the label I am just getting whatever the label I had it here and I am just adding plus one now if you see the join that I am doing here I am doing join between employees table along with this employee hierarchy table which I am getting it from here right so this is the employee hierarchy table so from this table i am doing a join and based on the manager id from my employee table i am joining with the employee hierarchy id okay so based on that i am getting their manager instead of getting their manager id i am getting their manager label here and i'm just adding one because that is going to be that employees label now if you want to see the manager id as well i can just select the one of manager id okay just to show you the result and uh, that is going to return the manager id for each employee okay and here i can also select the manager id manager id i'll just give a comma okay now let's just run this query again oops now in the manager in here also i need to select the manager id because we are doing union so the column number should be same for both the select statement right because this is one of the select statement this is one of the select statement right so both select statement has to have the same column number and the same data types and then only union is going to work now to use this recursive ct you need to have the union so that you can build a relation with this table and then you can refer in the city you can refer with itself right so let's go ahead and now run it now you can see it here okay so here the employee id one which is alice so alice doesn't have a manager id so the label is that is one right because alice doesn't have a manager id now for the second employee which is two the name is bob and the manager id is one 
and the label is a two because this employee has a manager ID that is one. So here we are checking that employees label, right? That is here. And then we are adding one. Okay. That is the reason we are getting label two here. Similarly, if you see it here, this EBA. So the employee ID has the manager, which is called three. So for this three manager, that is Charlie. So Charlie's manager level that you see, that is going to be Charlie's manager ID that is two, right? So two's manager level that's going to be two, right? So we are adding one. So that is how we are getting the label of Charlie that's going to be three and label of Eva that's going to be four. So this is how it's working. Now if you want to check for Grace. So for Grace, the employee ID is seven. The manager ID is four. Now let's see who has this manager ID four. That's by David. So David has a manager ID two, right? So we will need to first check what is the level of manage employee ID two. So if you see, David has a manager ID that's a two. Now that is going to be Bob, right? So Bob level is a two. That means the debit level is going to be two plus one. That's three. Same way in the Grace level is going to be debit levels, which is three plus one. So that is four here. So this is how we have used a recursive CT to solve this a problem. Now this type of problem you can solve using recursive CTE. So if you want to practice the same question, you can go ahead and download the dataset from the video description. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. Have a good day. Take care. Bye bye.